I want to get to Meg Terrell on the news that Johnson Johnson has now filed for emergency use authorization of its coronavirus vaccine. Meg. Hey, Andrew. Well, that filing news came yesterday from J&J. &J. They say that, you know, if and when they get the FDA's green light, they'll start shipping immediately and we'll have 100 million doses uh, ready for the U.S. government uh, in the first half of 2021. Uh, now, in terms of, so the FDA has actually already said, coming out last night, uh, the advisory committee meeting for this vaccine, that will be February 26th. And that's so important as part of this process. It's outside group of advisors meets, looks over all of the data, including an independent analysis from the FDA. Uh, and we'll hear from the company, the FDA. We often hear from the CDC. We hear from the public. This is a big meeting. Um, and that is 22 days after they applied. Uh, we will get the document documents from the FDA likely on February 24th, which will have tons of information about this vaccine. So that's always a very big day. Now, how does that 22-day timeline compare with what we saw with Pfizer and Moderna? It's actually slightly longer. For Pfizer, they filed uh, on November 20th. Their advisory committee meeting was December 10th. That was 20 days. For Moderna, it was slightly shorter, filed November 30th. Advisory meeting December 17th, 17 days. So you're already seeing a lot of people coming out this morning saying, why is the FDA scheduling this meeting for J&J, &J, you know, 22 days after they filed for emergency use authorization. But guys, we have seen the FDA move with unprecedented speed um, to clear these vaccines after a positive vote just the day after. This is on a Friday for J&J, &J, so we'll see if the FDA does this over the weekend and we start seeing the first shots maybe that following Monday, March 1st, guys. Hey, Meg, before you go, what is the timeline on the studies being done for a booster shot on the J&J &J and whether that would change the efficacy? Well, they have an ongoing uh, clinical trial testing two doses. Uh, so we don't know exactly when we should get those data. This, of course, is just for one dose, and they showed 72% efficacy with that against disease and 85% efficacy against severe disease and kept everybody out of the hospital after 28 days after getting the shot. So uh, health experts think that this is a pretty strong vaccine on its own, but uh, we will be getting data on that two-dose regimen at some point over the coming months. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.